Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> You're taking a look at our pond here. It is, uh, as you can kind of see by the wall here, as I kind of walk down towards the water, it is slowly disappearing here. Uh, good indication, like I said, that the dry season is here. The water table is going down quite fast uh, because this kind of keeps up with the water table here. I'm down to 42 inches, three and a half feet. So just a little bit over a meter of water in here. So uh, yeah, not looking good for the middle of February. Usually uh, we don't see these kind of results until, oh gosh, maybe April, May, where uh, we get down this low. And it's all these little signs that kind of let me know that uh, <clears throat> could be a dry year this year. And that we're still, that the rainy season has ended. And we are headed, hopefully not, <laughs> oh boy towards a pretty severe dry season here again. I'm going to kind of take a walk up to the rice fields here. <clears throat> and you can see my, uh, my gully here on the side of the walkway where all the water runs down from the road and from up on the hill there down into the pond. <clears throat> so it doesn't take nothing but a good downpour or two to really fill up the pond so you can tell by the height of the pond right now we just haven't had that we haven't had it in January or February uh, the last time the pond overflowed was December and that was only for a period of maybe three weeks when it was at overflow so definitely not doing good we're gonna have to pick Tomatoes, it's tomatoes. Oh boy, I'm in a different world this morning. <laughs> oh, look at the peppers here, yeah. Uh, it still amazes me, the growth of the peppers here. And very good, good size. Sure they're small compared to uh, what you may find for the sweet peppers in the store but I'll tell you what more than happy with uh, the peppers that we've gotten out of here and even here look at the size of that one so nice oh there's another one too and more growing here in spite of the fact if you can tell here the ground is extremely dry we just haven't been getting the rain and of course the weeds oh they take over so fast I'm gonna have to kind of weed through this again uh, <clears throat> but at least we're continuing to grow the peppers here and I've wanted to can some and hopefully we're still able to do that the beans are on their way out. I'm going to pick again today. As you can see, if I get up on the hill here, just a couple flowers, very few flowers. They're coming to an end. But still, uh, we've got some pretty nice beans here. Yeah, wow, pretty nice. And because I've canned actually more than I was thinking of in the beginning, and of course I ran out of jars, Ran out of jars and ran out of budget at about the same <laughs> time. So, yeah, we'll give these away. That's part of also what we do here to our neighbors. And Dora will get some beans. I know the when we visited Steve and Imey a couple of days ago, they got a whole bag full of beans and some peppers, onions. So we have no problem doing that and giving that stuff away for our friends and that. So 
something they can enjoy. I hate to see food go to waste. Uh, that's a big pet peeve of mine. And if we can't use it, give it away. You know, I know a lot of people said you should be selling that. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> if we were in that situation where we needed the money that desperately, I guess we would. But uh, <clears throat> we're not. We get by. When the going gets tough, we just pull in the reins a little bit. Do a lot less than we intend to do. And I'd rather see the neighbors... Uh, kind of prosper from the excess that we have So uh, yeah, we wind up giving it away, which is fine. I don't mind that I'm gonna head back down towards the pond here Just wanted to kind of show you here. Yeah, the ground is if you can tell by the video boy <clears throat> The ground is so dry the little bit of rain we do get just uh, basically gets the surface a little wet. As soon as the sun comes up, the heat comes out. Uh, that's gone. Uh, <clears throat> Going to kind of walk out on our big rock here. <laughs> I had no idea this was here. Like I said when we first, uh, that this whole rock wall that you see here was actually here. The back wall of our pond wasn't until we dug it out that we actually saw the results <clears throat> of that. Well, I'm going to let you folks go. But uh, the pond is not looking good. Hey, Dor <laughs> yeah, Doro's taking some water out. And we do that in order to give water to the pigs. Uh, we're going to be running out of water fairly early this year if uh, it continues. And we don't get uh, some really decent rain coming in here in the next few weeks. And we've done it before. Uh, we can do it again, haul water. It's uh, definitely a pain. But uh, we've learned you do what you need to do. I mean, I'm familiar with hauling water. For the 10 years I lived in Montana at my cabin no electricity no running water <laughs> yeah pretty primitive and I didn't mind that at all the country is just wow the mountains are so beautiful I've always been in love with the mountains so I'm gonna let you go here everybody something to start off your your Thursday here and uh, like and subscribe, then uh, God bless everybody, and I'll be back with you probably fairly shortly again. Thank you so much.